The next tool we're going to discuss is the Maps tool. Accurate geo-reference maps are critical to leveraging the full potential of the ATAC Civ application. In the toolbar, tap on the Maps tool icon. The map tool opens from the right and has three primary tabs, imagery, mobile, and phase. ATAC Civ works with multiple file types, both locally stored and accessed over the internet, such as XML, GeoTIFF, SQLite, and KMZ. Tap the imagery tab. This shows a scrollable list of the locally stored map files of areas that the device is zoomed into. These are map files loaded directly onto the user's device. Map files are loaded onto the device's SD card so that if the device is operating in areas with limited or no connectivity, georeference map files will be available for use. This is why it is important during mission prep to secure map imagery for all of the upcoming areas of operation so that the specific maps can be processed and loaded on each user's device. ATAC SID we use map files that are loaded on the local storage as well as the external SD card as long as the file path naming on the SD card matches the same internal ATAC file structure, ATAC slash imagery. Tap the mobile tab. This contains online links to various map sources. Links to the online map sources can be added, deleted, or saved as local or favorites. Internet access is required to use the mobile maps feature. When internet access isn't available for a mission, it is advised to save the map layer for the entire mission area when users have connectivity before the mission. To save a map layer, select the mobile source users want to save the map layer from. Expand the map source function by selecting the arrow at the bottom right of the window. Then tap select area to define the specified region of interest. This will bring up an additional menu for the user to select a specific method of map selection. These select area options are rectangle, freeform, and map select. To use a rectangle, tap on rectangle. The map screen will display for the user and directions denoted in green text appear on the top of the map screen. If the user does not see the green text, tap on the poker chip icon located to the right of the map screen. Tap on the top left and bottom right corners on the map of the area to be saved. A box will appear to display the selected areas visually. Drag the slider endpoints to select the desired locations of the tile set. The number of tiles to be downloaded will be indicated on the top right of the window. Select download to begin the download process. Users can choose to create a new tile set or add to an existing tile set. Enter the name to be applied to the selected layers and select OK. Of note, naming conventions are important to ensure that each layer downloaded is easy to identify to this specific area of operation. A status indicator will appear to show the download progress. This new map layer is now saved in the local map layer of the mobile tab. To download a map using Freeform, follow the same steps as Rectangle, but select Freeform. Again, directions for the user will appear on the top of the map screen. Tap the desired points you wish to download tiles for. The user must close the Freeform select area by tapping on the first point created. Once the Freeform select area is selected, the same download steps are used as discussed using Rectangle. If you wish to cancel the download, tap Cancel. To select an area using Map Select, the user must first have a circle, rectangle, or a freeform polygon drawing tool created. When the user selects Map Select, simply tap on one of the three shapes to download the tiles for that shape. The same download steps are used as discussed using Rectangle and Freeform. When local is selected, a list will appear of the downloaded imagery layers present in the map display at the current zoom level. The local layers are listed in order beginning with the area closest to the map center. 
Select the outline checkbox to toggle the outline areas on or off. When the user selects a layer from the list, map source data corresponding to the downloaded layer will be used as a sole source for the map data. If show all is checked, all the layers are shown. Otherwise, only layers with coverage in the currently displayed map location will be displayed. Tap the phase tab. Here, the user can use the map tool to store map locations as favorites for quick reference by the user. This can be useful to quickly return the map to a favorite location, such as an objective or other priority location. If the user wishes to save the current view and displayed imagery, select the phase tab and then tap on add current view at the bottom of the window. The user will then name the view. Again, naming conventions are vital for this function. Once added, the user can quickly return the map to the saved fave by going into the map tool, selecting the faves tab and tapping on the desired saved map view. Keep in mind, when users save a map view, it will return the map to the view level at which the map view was saved. This concludes the instruction of the map tool.